Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is a one-on-one -on -one legacy match, and episode four of the Orox deck. Savannah... I didn't get the greatest of hands. But at least I have mana. I already said okay. No idea what my p my opponent is playing. I almost said partner, but uh, green and white, two savannas. Oh, are you playing? Are you playing green white ravager? I am intrigued by my opponent's deck. There's the black that he needed. Because I couldn't see him actually playing this without having black. Let's uh, go for the big army here. Depending on what I draw, I will have seven mana to play with. Heartbound Crusher. Rexian Dreadnought. Okay. So if he, he'd be an eleven eleven and he would be a nine ten. Let's go aggro. See if he can deal with it. If not, then the Orox trample his face. That is 20 total damage. Oh, forgot about that. So he'll be a 10 10 and he'll be a 12 11. 22 damage. Wow. Okay. Must not have uh, had much of a hand. 
I mean, he didn't even try to block. But now he gets to go into his sideboard. That was awful quick. I was expecting him to switch out uh, quite a few things so that he'd be more resilient toward against a mono green deck. You know? Black has a lot of kill creature cards. White has a lot of kill creature cards. And it wouldn't take too much for him to do that. You know, say switch out four cards for you know, Swords of Plowshares, uh, Doom Blade even. I mean there are so many options and I really don't have a way to protect my guys against things like that. And I'm just going to spam as much, uh, as many creatures onto the field as I can. Let's see, four mana. Not going to attack. Man, if I could just uh, draw some more mana. to do I think I'm going to throw that down and pass not attack give him another turn unfortunately I can draw something. Okay, he is out of cards. But he could right now pay black, bring back the Phyrexian Dreadnought, play it, sack it. wasn't what I was hoping for.
Well, let's see what we can do. He could just take it straight to the face. But, uh... That would be pretty bad since he's top decking. And now I'm pretty much out of gas. Should I have waited another turn? I'm pretty sure that that's game. So, let's go on to game three. Thank you, Shuffler, for being a dick. Your unjustifiable hatred for this deck... Y you just can't... Con you can't contain it. You can't uh, help yourself, can you? Your program code, for some reason, is just tweaked by the mere existence of my deck. Just can't stand it. I don't like the fact that I just uh, have to play that and let him go. The more turns he has, the more chances of his uh, combo bullshit. Double life gain.
Thankfully, I have an acidic ooze to make that go away. And no reason not to attack with him. Or actually, oh wow, he let it through. I, I realized afterwards that it's every other Auroch that gives it a plus one. I thought it would have been a 5-4. That was a mistake on my part, but uh, he let it through. So I got away with it. back. And looks like uh, we've entered a sort of stalemate. He's drawing a lot of land, which I'm very, very thankful for. If I could just get one more land, I could uh, keep rolling the Aurochs. But even at this rate, I can... Uh, Throw down Bull Aurochs, followed up by Blanchwood Armor. cannot kill him, he'd have to triple block him to kill him. And it would have to include the Arcbound Crusher. And the Arcbound... Well, he could uh, do Crusher, Rocks, and Worker. You're going to get to keep the uh, rocks. Granted, you can use your thing and bring these things back, but I killed them all off, so modular... Oh, and he quits. Well, he was in a bad way anyway. But uh, there you go, guys. Uh, episode 4 of Aurochs. If you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.